Hello, hello, and welcome to the latest feature update from NetHunt CRM. We are absolutely thrilled to announce our latest integration with WhatsApp. It's a game changer that brings your customer conversations and CRM data together like never before. By the end of this video, you'll know everything there is to know about the NetHunt CRM integration with WhatsApp. We'll make sure to cover every aspect of it. How can you benefit from the NetHunt CRM integration with WhatsApp? How to connect WhatsApp to NetHunt CRM and the functionality of the integration. Get ready for a whole new level of seamless communication. But before we go any further, make sure you subscribe to our channel. At the end of the day, you don't want to miss out on things that can streamline your business processes, do you? You're probably wondering, how exactly will the NetHunt CRM integration with WhatsApp take your business to the next level? Let's explore all the ways. It will help you connect with clients on their preferred platform to build rapport like never before. It will help you streamline your workload by centralizing your customer interactions. It will increase customer satisfaction by filtering conversations to always respond promptly. It will allow you to gain valuable insights into customer interactions by linking WhatsApp chats directly to customer records. It will help you reply to customers directly from the customer card, ensuring consistent and professional messaging. Sounds amazing, right? Let's not waste any more time and get you up and running with this integration then. Here is a step-by-step -step instruction on how to connect your personal WhatsApp account to NetHunt CRM. In order to connect NetHunt with your personal WhatsApp, go to Settings, Chats, hit Connect Chat. Pick WhatsApp Personal from the list of available messengers. You'll see all the necessary instructions. Open WhatsApp on your mobile device, go to Settings, Link Devices, and Link Device by scanning the QR code you see on the screen on your laptop or personal computer. Once you've completed those steps, your WhatsApp account will be successfully connected. From there, you can decide chats with which contacts you want to save in NetHunt CRM. All of them, only approved contacts, messages from the listed contacts, or all but some contacts. Essentially, at this point, you can blacklist or whitelist certain contacts. You don't want the conversation with your mom or partner to find its way to the CRM, do you? By the way, if you have several users in the workspace, you can connect their multiple WhatsApp accounts to NetHunt. Now, let's discuss all the features available in this integration. Once your WhatsApp account is connected, chats will appear under the relevant section of chats. Here, you can also filter your conversations by certain criteria. All conversations assigned to yourself, not replied, replied, unassigned. Apart from this, you can close or delete a conversation from here. Let's see what you can do with messages received in WhatsApp. You can send a reply directly from NetHunt. You can send text messages, create hyperlinks, and attach files. As long as we are working with personal WhatsApp, only the person who owns this WhatsApp account can respond. Other users will have the following notification displayed. You can also create a record from the message or link the message to an existing record. To do that, Click on the NetHunt icon in the top right corner of the screen. If it's a chat from a new contact, the system will suggest creating a new record. If it's a chat from an existing contact, you'll see a system suggestion to link it to a record from the database. Once the record is created or linked, you can go to the record and see the WhatsApp chat on the timeline. You may also respond to messages directly from the timeline. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates and check out our other videos for more insights into NetHunt CRM's features and capabilities.